Uh, Gaffer, we've got the players behind us. They are looking a little bit more relieved than they were maybe about 10 minutes ago because they've just finished the first day of pre-season. Uh, what a day, eh? Always a good day to get back. Everybody doesn't usually look forward to the first day of pre-season, but you know, it was great to get everybody back in the building today. Um, and a couple of new faces as well uh, in the building with, with you know, new players coming in and new staff members, so it's good to see everyone, see how everyone got on over the summer and the first day is done it wasn't too bad today physically it was a nice introduction shall we say for what's to come talk us through what they have done today then so they've done a bit of testing earlier on this morning with with elliot and the and the performance team just usual body fat testing strength testing jump tests i don't know there's a million and one tests to do these days but they've completed that this morning a little bit of lunch and then this afternoon is a little bit of agility testing and a 1500 meter max run test which is never nice it's not i just you see the coaches still around with smiles on their faces not the same with the players um but but as much as getting people back in the building and starting the training again you kind of alluded to it seeing everybody again catching up getting to know the new faces that have come in that's all part of it isn't it it is look, there's nothing better look we're back out on the grass lovely training pitch the weather's nice everyone's in a good mood everyone's catching up with each other see how, what they got up to over the summer how how the holidays went, how the weddings went, how everybody, you know, what they, where, where they went and you know, relaxed and recovered, trained. So, yeah, it's just, just good to see everyone again, have a conversation and, and know that tomorrow the, the balls are going to be back out, which is everyone's most enjoyable part. We'll get on to the rest of pre-season in a moment, but talking about the summer, I know you went away, but you also graduated from your pro licence as well. So, so congratulations. I mean, that's a really proud moment, surely. Yeah, it was. It was brilliant. Um, I had a, had a good summer, nice and... Nice and relaxed. I worked for a couple of weeks after the season finished. I had a few bits of, and pieces to tie up and uh, some recruitment stuff to, to get on with. So that was OK. And then we went on, away on a family holiday for a couple of weeks, which was brilliant. Some time to switch off and, and relax and um, enjoy being with the kids and the missus. So that was good. And then quickly back to work. Um, landed in England. Spent a few days up in Liverpool seeing family. And then was on a, a pro licence for a week, which was real tough. A uh, bit nervous because we had to do two presentations and present your final independent study, which which went well. And yeah, as you say, graduated and was presented my uh, certificate by Gareth Southgate and Steve Holland. So a busy summer, very busy. And on that, you know, it's speaking to you just before about how how buzz you are to have done it. I mean, obviously to get the, the qualification and to pass it, but also to kind of be able to put all your focus. Mm-hmm. Not that it wasn't always all the time, but you know that was always lingering on Argyle this season. Yeah, it's uh, I say first and foremost proud to get a pro license. It's there's only six hundred of them and on the English FA uh, who have got the award. So you're in an elite group of coaches, which is fantastic. But but yeah, I think you're right what you said as well. It gives me time now to to reflect on what's been a mad few years. I've gone straight from a, a degree which took me three years to an A licence, which took me two to a pro licence, which took me two and without having any sort of break. So, as you say, I can stop, put the, pre- uh, the PowerPoint presentations to bed probably for 12 months and focus just on how to become a manager and, um, and yeah, focus on the team. Uh, over the next couple of weeks then, um, busy old schedule, going away to Spain, got matches in there as well. Um, how much planning and meticulous planning has got into the next few weeks? Yeah, it's the, the, the planning started before the season even finished last year, so that's the level of detail you've got to get to these days to, to compete and to keep up with what everybody else is doing. Look, this uh, first six weeks of the, the pre-season phase is, you know, it's a it's a coalition between Elliot and the performance team and, and us and the coaching team. We, we need to you know, be on the same page that the lads are getting the physical demands that they need and we're trying to get our coaching messages across to them as well over the next six weeks because we know we run into a busy season which which lasts you no know, nine, ten months and you don't get much time in between games when Saturday, Tuesday fixtures coming. So if you don't get your preparation right in pre-season then you can pay the price. Just a very quick one. We saw an impressive run from the newest recruit, Matt Butcher, just a moment ago. He was flying around, wasn't he? Yeah. Um, talk to me a little bit about, about him and what you think he'll bring to this side? Well, I've just said to him, you've set the bar too high on your first day, <laughs> mate, because he's going to have to, uh, have to live up to that. But look, we're pleased to bring Matt in. He's um, he's a player that we've watched and admired over the last couple of seasons when playing against us for Accrington. He's, he's very tall, he's very physical, he handles the ball really well, technically very good. 
um, can add a little bit of quality and a left-footed midfield option that can play in various different roles. So really pleased to bring him in. He seems a real good lad. We've done our own work on him, obviously, as we would do with what he's like off the pitch. And at the moment, he's settled right into the group and he seems to be enjoying it. And hopefully the fans get to see him at his very best. Well, they don't, might not have too long with the game coming up in a couple of weeks against Parkway, mightn't they? Yeah, it's it's quick, comes around it? quick, yeah. It's 10 days and we're on the grass with our boots and shinies on, so that's good. Uh, something for the, the fans, I'm sure they'll be excited to come and watch us down there before we head off to Spain on, the, on our week training camp. So, so yeah, it rolls around quick and before we know it, the, the season will be starting. It will indeed. Well, thanks, Gaffer. I'll let you get back to the players and Cheers. enjoy the sunshine.